those of you who know Anel, how has he inspired you? Can we all agree that Anil is the best dressed man in here tonight? <laughs> Anil knows how to look the part for any occasion. Back in school, he would always masquerade as a doctor at Halloween parties. <laughs> at first glance, you might think, what's up with this guy? We figured he was only doing it to impress the ladies. Anil was always very adamant about the fact that he did indeed want to become a doctor. Even on the smallest of promises he makes to those around him, he'll come through. If he tells you he'll be somewhere at 7 p.m., he shows up at 6.59. He always shows up. Would you agree? But I have to tell you, the man does have one flaw. Dancing. <laughs> Anybody in here ever see him dance? <laughs> Picture Michael Jackson in Thriller, only without all the dead people. <laughs> if you want him to moonwalk, he'll moonwalk. If you want him to break dance, he'll break dance. If you want him to dirty dance, well, I won't go into that tonight. <laughs> Next time. He is a man of Next many time. skills, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and to tell you all the ways that a nil curian is truly one of a kind would take longer than you are willing to sit. Even though Anil has attempted to give me dance tips over the years, I could never bust a move like him, you saw earlier. I have learned one thing from him, however, and it might be the most valuable, and that is communication. Anil could be anywhere, in any situation, and the people he ends up talking to really enjoy his company. Upon running into an old high school pal one day at the mall, uh, a friend who had gained at least 100 pounds since high school, Anil, Anil sees him, looks at him and says, Hey man, you look great! <laughs> now judging by the initial semi-shocked semi look on the guy's face, he didn't truly believe Anil, but Anil's genuine happiness on seeing his old friend had, had this guy smiling from ear to ear. 99 people out of 100 would have made some sort of comment about the guy's weight, but not Anil. He stood there and he listened to what the guy had to say, enjoying each and every moment of seeing his old friend. Studies show that we, that we as human beings only retain 20% of what we hear. So, in a conversation with someone, you tell them five facts about yourself, they might only remember one. Anil remembers everything you tell him. You tell him something today, he'll remember it three years from now. Imagine that, talking to someone who's actually listening. In this fast-paced society we live in today, Many of us, myself included, don't make time to listen. He does. How well do you all really know Anil? Many of you, parents, aunts, uncles, siblings, cousins, friends, might think you know Anil well enough to know all of his accomplishments. But to everyone in here tonight, I have one story about Anil that I can guarantee none of you know. One night, about two years ago, I was taking a walk with Anil on White Ave about to head home. Don't do it. We noticed the scuffle taking place. Five guys were harassing a single gentleman. They surrounded him, and like a pack of angry wolves, they attacked. They pushed him up against the fence, punching him and kicking him. They threw him to the ground, and boom, his head smacked the pavement. It hit so hard that you could hear the thud from across the street where we were standing. The perpetrators fled. People were screaming. Give me a second. <laughs> a 
there was blood gushing out of the man's skull. It was chaos. Within seconds, our friend Anil rushed to the victim's side. It seemed like a lifeless body to me. I was the most scared I've ever been. But in one of the most heroic scenes I've ever witnessed in my life, Anil took charge and started yelling instructions. Everyone out of the way. Call 911. Once he got control of the situation, and trust me, he got control right away, he went to work. It was as if he was in some sort of zone, and nothing could break his focus. The only person standing between life and death in that moment was an ill. Within a few minutes, the paramedics arrived. Anil was still working on it. The paramedics worked just as urgently as Anil did. All in a matter of minutes after, the ambulance took the man away. Anil and myself proceeded to head home. Anil, do you know the rest of this story? All right. A couple months later, I ran into one of the paramedics from that night. And this is what he said. As a paramedic, I can't talk about these situations with respect to the people involved and their families. On that night, when we came to White Ave to take that man away, the first thing I noticed was the enormous amount of blood lying beside me. In all my years of working, I have never seen a situation that bad with a victim actually surviving. Only thanks to the quick response to the situation that night, your friend saved that man's life. 